Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we are here to talk about NBA 2K20 My Park. Now, there has been a lot of speculation going on, on Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, just about everywhere. If you're living under a rock and you didn't hear about this, this is the video that you need to watch. Now, just to let you guys know, we do have a goal. 30 thousand likes yeah this ain't worth three thousand thirty thousand likes i need you guys to hit that goal i need y'all to understand that i have an actual source that works for 2k to nullify everything that i'm going to be talking about in today's video and this is going to be one of those videos where we get right down to the meat of things man so check this out if you weren't around Twitter on July 22nd, I am sad to say I have to inform you that you missed out on a my park of fun, man. Check this out. July 22nd around 10.30 p.m., a video came out on Twitter that originated on Snapchat from some user at a facility which houses the dev room that's working on NBA 2K20. And in this video, it showed my park footage, gameplay, walking around, player intros, just so much footage. It was literally five minutes of footage within this clip that was being clipped, but they only clipped up to about 45 seconds of the intros to everything that was going on. Now, there was another leak of footage from the same account on Snapchat that then got screenshotted by somebody else and put on Twitter. Now, the reason why I keep emphasizing on Twitter is because this is where the story broke. Reddit didn't even have this first. Twitter was the first place that you seen it. So, when I immediately saw the footage and I seen the player the my player running through my park through the neighborhood and i seen the 2k20 billboards and stuff like that i said hold on this don't look like a pc mod this don't look like any old normal you know what i mean makeshift type thing where somebody makes a concept art or something like that so immediately i get on the phone and i call my source guess who i called to verify this guys i'm gonna give it a second i called ronnie 2k i'm gonna go ahead and put the screenshot up on the screen no i won't show you his number no i won't show you his email but i call ronnie 2k at 10 53 at night because at this point as soon as 10 30 hit by the time 10 50 came my video was already done I was ready to put this video out. I was ready to give y'all everything y'all needed. But then I had to check with the big dogs. And when I mean I had to check with the big dogs, I had to make sure I wasn't going to get sued. I had to make sure that I wasn't going to get my YouTube channel terminated because of this. So I called Ronnie 2K. The call didn't take no more than a minute. And I can tell you guys for a fact, he said, please do not post this footage. Please do not put light on this because what is about to happen is about to be Armageddon for certain Twitter accounts and uh, Snapchat accounts and wherever this footage was posted, they're coming after everyone. So what I want you guys to do is if you have that footage on your Twitter timeline, I just want you to know that possibly you might have to make a new Twitter because if they find it, you ex nay, you feel me? So check it out. When the footage dropped, I call, like I said, I called Ronnie. He told me that basically the person who whomever filmed it, whether they were, you know what I'm saying, trying to be witty or whatever the case may be, they were in the actual dev facility that is working on the game. So I'm going to let you guys know, if you have any doubts, any doubts about this, the footage is real. It is not fake. It is 100% absolutely real. And what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about the things that we've seen in that video. And if you haven't seen it, go on Twitter real quick and come back to this video because we're going to talk about it. But 
Ronnie told me that he was going to be sending out emails. He asked me not to post none of the footage, which none of the footage will be in this video at all. So, 2K, please. My hands are up. Don't, don't get me. But he basically said, emails are going out right now. Like, literally, I have... I have images I, I'll I have so many screenshots of so many people getting their their posts taken down and these are just warnings so if you keep thinking you're about to post it back after it gets deleted you might want to hold on to your Twitter account and not do that so on screen a couple screenshots from people you guys see it here people complaining about the footage being taken down and wondering why they're they're getting copyrights and stuff like that from the original original content holders specifically name which is 2k interactive like 2k sports all of them it's insane so with all these screenshots i know you guys understand that it's real it can't be fake at this point the reason why i didn't drop a video on the 22nd why i didn't drop my video on the 23rd why i didn't drop my video on the 24th is because i wanted everything to unfold i wanted to make sure that everybody got to see it before 2k dropped that hammer you feel me i just wanted to make sure that everybody could see it so check it out as far as the my park footage goes the neighborhood remember when i made a video about ronnie 2k talking about the new neighborhood he talked about it there are a couple new things that we've seen in that footage but ultimately it's the same thing as nba 2k19 it's the same concept of neighborhood where you're running around this big square but what i didn't see is i didn't see too many shops i seen the rec center and i seen uh i believe it was like the the dog event where it's like uh dunks only or something like that so that event was going on within the park then it was like a a bunch of like users just all standing around i'm guessing that they were testing the stress of the servers so it's it's just so much i wish i wish that i could put up screenshots of the actual my part gameplay for you guys to make you understand but i'm telling you now if you search 2k20 leaks or something like that on twitter you're guaranteed to find it somewhere you won't find it on my page because my twitter account is verified and I don't want my Twitter to get taken down. It was another YouTuber a few years ago that was putting leaks out and got their the Twitter suspended. Got their Twitter up out the paint. So I don't want to be one of those people. So, like I was saying, the my part looks exactly like 19. There's a few different things. But I seen the rec center set up. The rec center slash like big billboard with like all the events and stuff that's going on kind of looks the same the rec looks a little just just a smidge different but basically looks the same the um the the player header that's under your character from nba 2k19 it looks much different in nba 2k20 and you guys will see that on them twitter videos that you watch um also player intros are something new so basically there's an intro to the intro Whereas they're like, you know how like your player is walking up and stuff like that. It's kind of like a newer intro to that. As well as the gameplay kind of looks the same. Um, if, especially if you're playing on 2K View. Gameplay kind of looks the same from what I've seen. Um, it's not too much that I can deep dive in like, as far as like dunks, shooting, anything like that. But you guys have seen the gameplay from the LA, I mean not LA, the Vegas event where um, musicians and other like celebrities were playing the game you've seen that um also there was another thing where it was like a bunch of cages around now like i told you guys that was one of those events where it's like um it's kind of caged off so it was like a bunch of different players sitting inside a caged environment i don't think it was cages at all but i believe it was just one of those events that 2k has where they put the cages up on the outer perimeter and it was like a whole bunch of players sitting within the court now one thing that i can say i didn't see any bikes on the court I didn't see any skateboards on the court. Everybody looked like a 60 overall. Everybody had on a brown shirt. Everybody had on the gray sweatpants. 2K will not, for the love of me, change that format. They will start you off at a 60 overall brown shirt to the day I probably die. I don't know why. I don't know why they haven't changed it to maybe a 2K shorts or 2K shirt or something like that. They don't want you to have anything. You look like you are on the yard. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Also in this video the user who was recording the 
footage, like they were literally recording it with their phone. They also recorded the home screen for when you first turn on 2K and when they went through each, like my career, my league, stuff like that, going through every single thing. And the reason why a lot of people said it was fake is because they have some of the same art from when Steph Curry and them won a the championship, Steph Curry kissing a, a championship and everything like that. But they haven't gotten any of the new images from when Kawhi and them were doing it. And they probably haven't ported it into the game yet. But the home screen design and UI did look much different. So when it comes to building UI, I understand that because I've worked with dev teams on different games. So when they have a brand new UI, sometimes they might have different people on the UI, like say for instance, John Bones Jones, right? He used to be the champ. When I was working on UFC one, they had him on there, but they had to end up putting Gus was it Gustafson on there? Then I think they had to end up putting uh uh what's his name? Um everybody say I look like him. I can't remember his name. Shirt dude. Uh I remember it later, but it's basically a UFC guy. The dude that can't never beat John Jones, but he went every other fight. Uh yeah, D something. I, I can't remember. But um so basically they do that with the ui they build out a new ui but they just have to put new image placeholders in that so that's why i can understand why it looked fake because they're working with a brand new ui and before they polish it all up that's what they had to do but my thing is where are all these leaks coming from where's all these leaky faucets coming from but uh but before we get into the leaky faucets i want to put up one more screenshot image of what can happen if you do post this video on Twitter, YouTube, anything like that. If you post this video before launch or before they drop anything about Park or whatever the case may be, this is what may happen to you. So somebody posted on Twitter this image and basically Ronnie 2K via uh, someone that works at 2K were sending out literally like, like DCMA or was it DMCAs, whatever the case may be. Like they were taking down posts like left and right. So if you get this post or this email or something like that and your content is taken down, you know why. I'm sorry, but you know why. Um, but basically back to the leaky faucets, man. So for this video to originate on Snapchat and then somebody records the Snapchats and then somebody puts it on Reddit and puts it on Twitter and stuff like that. I just wanna know who is 2K working with? Like, like I, from, from past experience, right? Um, I did a little bit of work with um, EA's dev team for live. And when we went there, they made us put our cell phones inside of a lockbox. You did not have any way to get into your phone unless they unlocked the lockbox for you. So if you had to make a phone or text somebody or anything like that, they had to stop everything, stop, turn off all the screens. You take your phone and you exit the room and somebody would stand outside the door so that when you're about to come back in, they take the phone back from you because when you leave the room, everything, it starts back up. So then they put your phone right back in the lockbox. So I believe that if 2K is working with people that are game testers or, you know what I mean, content creators or, you know, people that just play 2K, like people that grind the game or whatever the case may be they need to start confiscating phones now i know what you guys are thinking man we want the leaks we want them we want them but what tends to happen is when this the uh, and you know what i'm gonna call this this is probably going to be the title of my video the biggest scandal in 2k's history before launch this would have not have happened if 2k would have took the right measures to take people's phones and you know, make sure that they don't do anything that they don't or aren't supposed to be doing. But another thing is, shout out to whoever did that. We love you and we thank you. But I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, guys. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. It's just insane to me to see all the leaks. And for me to get real confirmation from Ronnie is big because things like this don't happen every day. I called Ronnie and he picked up on the second ring. That's big. That's big. But you know what? I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. Don't forget, 30,000 likes. I don't care. If you're watching this with a friend, tell your friend to pull his phone out and hit the like button. I just got the chills right now.
more NBA 2K20 news coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.